I'll be your sous chef. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we have another video with the most special guest, Dr. Daddy Cool. Hallelujah. <laughs> So today, Daddy wants to create one of the most famous Iraqi dishes, dalma, which is grape leaves, right? Yeah, exactly. Or Iraqi onions. Kingdom. You can actually yeah. make it with onions, peppers, but the most traditional, most famous dish is actually made with grape leaves, and it's when they have beautiful, like, stuffed grape leaves with rice and all kinds of things. Beautiful. And it's super popular, right, Baba? Exactly. Dalma al-Iraqi al-Asila al-Mashura. And today, we'll شلون يسوون دولمة وإن شاء الله الرياجيل يأخذون خطوة أنه يعملون الدولمة لزوجاتهم وينطوهم في الدي مثل ما يقولون أوف So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Dr. Daddy Cool's channel. We'll put mm. his link down below and hit the notification bells for updates on my next video. And don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what you want to see Daddy Cool and me make next. Okay, so now we're going to get into all the ingredients that we need to make dalma. So Daddy, if you could walk us through, what are the key ingredients? The key ingredient, as most Arab countries, they use grab uh, leaves. And the best way is to buy it as ready from the store. And then, of course, you can actually put each layer and put the stuffing, which we explain later. Iraqi dolma is special because we are using different, actually, vegetables. And all these vegetables can be filled with the stuffing, which I explain later. So, for example, the most tasty thing is uh, onion. We can actually hit the onion till it actually become a little bit soft, then you cut it to half, and then you make it like this, just leaves, okay? And later on, we fill it with the stuffing. And the other th thing is zucchini, also, we can actually use, you know, to get the inside, the stuff out, and, and leave it out. And same thing, we have the other one, actually, what this is small one. Plant? Yeah. And we use all different color, the yellow, red, and the green. And so we will actually cut the, let's say, the top, just like this. What's your favorite uh, vegetable to fill? You, onion is the testiest, actually, yeah. Besides that, we have also cabbage. The cabbage, you need to actually put it in the hot water for, let's say, two minutes. And then later on, you can actually have it like leaves. Let's talk about the stuffing. Okay, this is how it looks raw. Daddy Cool, yeah. if you could walk us through every ingredient in here, it yeah. smells, you can hold yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, this is what the ground beef. Okay. Maybe you mix actually half, half, half uh, beef and half, uh, let's say, lamb. You have also garlic, onion Lots chopped, plus the uh, uh, parsley. Okay. And besides that, of course, you put, you add to this uh, Himalayan salt, pepper, as, as much as you wish. And then you have this uh, uh, mix of the cumin, uh, all type of the actually, let's say, uh, an ingredient so, to make it tasty. Okay, they we'll are put available all these ingredients the, yeah. on the screen so yeah. you guys can buy them separately if you can't find this mixture in mm. your supermarket. So next thing to add to this, as much as you, you quantity you have here, the mixture, mm -hmm. You add all the stuffing from eggplant, from let's say, you know, every, every things you get actually out of this, let's say, from the eggplant, from squash, you add it there because it make it much tastier. Then you squeeze it. And Daddy's well. gonna do this because he's already done it to help prepare all these dishes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch him because I don't want my hands okay, to smell. Okay, you just talk now. I'll I just wanna, talk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so you mix the whole combination of mm -hmm. the meat, the onions, the parsley, the garlic. Mm -hmm. You mix it really well. But what is all of this, Bubba? What is the tomato paste for? I will explain later. Okay. This is actually come later. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to help you, Daddy. Tell me what to do. I'll be your sous chef. Yeah, okay. Okay. What should I do? Okay. How much I need to pay you? <laughs> so next step, we add rice as much as the meat itself. So yeah. the same as this? Yeah, yeah. Is there yeah. space for that? Okay, let's see. That's enough? That's enough. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a better. You can put more. We can actually make it more juicy, more meaty, less meat. Um, so this is good now. So if you like carbs, you can yeah, add yeah, more rice, yeah, right? Yeah. So after we adding the rice, as 
a little bit less than the meat. Now we mix it again, the rice and the meat. And then later on, we put actually this oil, which is actually, Ooh. yeah. Is it boiling the No, it's actually start to. That's hot, right? Hot yeah. olive oil. Let me put this over here. So how much olive oil did you put in? Yeah, maybe a couple, less than half a cup. Okay. Yeah, and then of course it make this, you know, the mixture is softer and of course cooked easier when mm -hmm. you put it in uh, st with stuffing. Yeah, pomegranate molasses. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, from put, Lebanon. Yeah. yeah. So how much should I add? It's Daddy good. does not like to measure anything yeah. at all. So here's like one enough. Spoon. Yeah, this is enough? Yeah, halas. You said two or three spoons. Spoon, small spoon. Okay. You, can you said this. large spoons. Okay. You oh can put God, more actually. So yeah. funny. Put more, maybe put more. Maybe more yeah. okay. You tell because me when to yeah, stop. Yeah. Coffee. That was the final step for prepping your stuffing. So we're gonna leave that aside. And next we're gonna move on to actually stuffing your vegetables. So we're quickly gonna demonstrate how to stuff the grape leaves and the vegetables. It's really, really easy. Um, right here, Daddy Cool's actually gone ahead and started stuffing the grape leaves. I'm also gonna stuff the pepper. Um, and it's super simple. You just take the stuffing that you created and just fill it up. And you really don't simply. fill it too much because the ice will expand after cook. So then come out. So don't okay. fill it too much. So is that good? More, a little bit more. more. Okay. That's enough, yeah. Okay. That's enough, that's enough. Okay, so that's yeah. about how much you're supposed to stuff it. So put it and over here. And we can here. cover it actually either with the with that the top of the pepper or we can actually cover it with this maybe is really? better yeah yeah test here wow yeah there's yeah, no rules yeah, huh yeah. that's cool yeah okay okay so i'm going to stuff an onion as well super easy just put it inside mm -hmm. yum it stinks and smells so good at the same time mm. <laughs> okay. what do you think daddy yeah, that's right good. very nice enough is enough, that okay enough. too much that's too much? Yeah. You're doing a great job. What do I, grade do I get? Yeah, you get actually A plus. That's a first from yeah. you. Okay. That's, that's, <laughs> now we have, this is full actually. Okay. Yeah. So Daddy Cool's gonna show you guys how to fill the grape leaf um, and roll it. That's a lot of stuffing. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do one as well. So to make sure that I learned properly. So here's a big grape leaf. I'm gonna flatten it out first, yeah. put it down on the board, and just add a little bit of stuffing in the center. I actually remember helping mom do this when I was a kid. <laughs> now you remember. I do, I remember. Great job. And yeah. I used to remove this hard part because yeah. it was yeah. never fun exactly. to bite into it. Yeah. So if you find this like stem yeah, on your grape good, leaf, yeah. remove it because no one wants to bite into yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And then you just kind of wrap it on the sides. Mm. And then you just roll it up. Oh, better than me. Oh, oh, thank you. So any any type of like leafy vegetable that you want to wrap, you just do it the same way as we showed you with the grape leaves. If you're going to do it with the cabbage, if you're going to do it with anything else, Onion. the same way. So here's a whole plate of grape leaves. Great job, Dad. Did you wrap all these? Yeah. Wow. The next step, what we will do. On the bottom of the pot, if you hold that, we put actually a layer of this so it will not stick. Beside right. that, yeah, just you put actually this, yeah, like what this. What is this for, though? To, I, so nothing will be stick to the pot, okay? And then uh, on the top of that, to make it very juicy, we put a layer of this lamb chop, like this. I've never seen it made like this before. Oh, this is special easy. <laughs> oh, this is not easy. Are Only, you changing the... This is mommy, the my recipe? mommy used to use that, and this is the okay. tastiest. Dolma ever. Now the next step, after we put the celery first layer, okay, so, and then the chop. Uh, here's my other hand. The lamb chop. Lamb chop. We put mm -hmm. actually one layer. Okay. Now we can put a little bit hot, actually oil or uh, olive oil, on the bottom, on the top of that, and then you start. The first layer is the onion stuffing. So we have this already filled up because the. You can actually put this on here. Okay. Okay. You put this. Here. So I'm just, just going to yeah. place these yeah, beside each other, filled yeah. onions yeah. Um, on top of the lamb yeah. chops. Yeah. Nope. One beside, yeah. yeah. Like that? Yeah. 
This yeah. make it also very tasty. You fill up with uh, this is actually broad beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bagelle Arabic they said is very good. So the now the second layer will be all vegetable as we have, and we have here this vegetable. If you can put them in the row, so just like like put this. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now that we've placed all of these other vegetables into the pot, we're just going to add a few more rolled um, grape leaves. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, right, Daddy? Yeah, too much, yeah. You guys see? Mm -hmm. And now we're going to put this on the stove. Mm -hmm. And how long are we going to cook it for? On regular tem temperature, actually, let's say mi mild temperature heat for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, of course, this should be covered. We need, of course, all the water from this ingredient will be actually evaporate. So we need to add, in order to make it very good, the tomato paste, which is already prepared. This is tomato paste. And after 30 minutes, when we put this on the, let's say, uh, on the, for the heat, we add this over all the area and cover it with the actually something to push this everything down. But the steam will get out of this. So don't cover it completely like this one. Something small one, heavy. Maybe plate. Like and this? Yes. But bigger, right? Bigger, yeah. A little bit bigger? Yeah, bigger. And okay. this is like this. After you put this and you leave it for one hour. So this is mouth-watering goodness. If you guys want to try an Iraqi dish, highly recommend you try this one first, mm -hmm. especially if you're cooking it because it's a lot easier to make than other dishes. So you put this like in here. And of course you touch it. So now we're going to flip it over. Flip it over. Can I try? Okay. You try, okay. okay. The body, the body, the body. I feel like I'm going to break it. Yeah. I don't know if this is a good idea. Good, yeah, okay. okay. Don't move it. Okay. Knock, knock. Ooh, oh my God, oh. that's amazing. Oh. It smells so good. I'm gonna get a grape leaf. No, get get onion. An onion? Okay, fine, oh, an onion. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I'll give you a grape leaf, Daddy. This is for your mom. <laughs> okay, here's your fork. Oh my okay, goodness. Okay, so we're gonna try this together on camera. Yeah. Hope we don't die. Mm, gonna die. So we're gonna try it. The big reveal. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. That is amazing. No, no, are you hungry? I'm actually not even hungry, but this is so good. I wanna eat it up like right now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How is the lemon and everything is good? So good. I'm really proud of you. Aww. Thank you. And me. I'm proud of me. Of course. <laughs> Look, I didn't burn the house down. I'm proud of myself. So honestly, this recipe is so delicious. Kind of easy. No, I wouldn't say easy. I'd say it's like a five out of ten, right? Not easy. Not as easy as baklava. But no. if you prepare everything properly, it's not that hard. Um, <laughs> Daddy's still going for it. No, no, this is, uh, you put it okay. like this, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you, big thank you to Daddy Cool, who has sauce on thank his face. Thank you to you all for, for preparing everything here and you, helping Daddy me, cool. of course. I will hire you as assistant in the future. Uh, any, thank you, yes. Any meal you like, I can actually prepare for you. Comment with down my, below. With my big chef. Okay, thank you. Um, Guys, comment down below what you guys want us to make next. We're always excited to create more videos with Daddy Cool. He's the best. Um, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like it if you enjoyed it. <laughs> guys, I'm going to end this video with a quote of the day before Daddy gets carried away and finishes this beautiful, amazing dish. Um, so for today's quote of the day, um, I'm actually looking at something up in my kitchen. It says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you all so much. Stay kind and stay blessed. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the meal. <laughs>